Hello, hello, and welcome to Test Drive. Welcome back to my SnowRunner hard mode playthrough. If you did miss the previous episodes, I will have a link for it in the top of the screen for you right now. I highly recommend going to watch that one before getting involved in this one. However, if you did see the previous episode, then you would have known that we are back in Black River. We're turning to our stomping ground, so to speak. Right, let's get this hat up real quick. So yeah, in the last episodes, we did re make a return to Black River. We uh, started getting some contracts done, started getting some tasks done back in our stomping grounds. We also managed to get a pack cargo, pack the trucks. We also managed to get a contest done. Which was unusual because it did say we had five, temp five attempts remaining. We did get gold on the first attempt. However, I thought that hard mode was restricted in terms of contest to three attempts. As you can see here, we are clearly in hard mode. Though I'm not really sure what happened with that one. We'll have to wait and see when we get to the next contest. But that is the main game or the main aim for this episode is to start getting these contests on Black River smashed out. So we are, or we have just loaded up two service spare parts. And the reason we did that is because we have the Riverside Repair, as you can see in the top corner there, delivered to Boatman's House service spare parts and wooden planks. So, the aim of this first part of the episode is we can take this trailer over to the gas station, I believe. Yes, the gas station. Drop off the trailer there. We'll then come down, do this food delivery um, contest. We'll do that three times or as, or as many times as we get. And then we shall come over, take the trailer with us. Um, then we'll come over to the lumber mill, drop the trailer off there. And then we can do the Pinewood Express contest, get that trailer and the wooden planks delivered to the boatman's house. And then once we've done all that, I think we are pretty much finished with, ta with tasks or contracts in Black River. So in terms of contracts, the only one that we need to do in Black River is this not a drill, which is two metal beams, a big oil rig drill, which I believe we get in the Smithville Dam just around the corner. And of course this construction rig semi-trailer, which we have already connected to up here with the Pacific CP16. So that is sitting there all ready to go. So yeah, that is the plan for this episode. We are gonna come over Get this. Oh, well, I think we've gone too far, actually. Oh, well, never mind. We can still, we can still make it work. I think. Yeah, we we'll, we just have to come over to the garage and then go up. Go up that way. Unless we just get this hooked up now, do it on the first attempt. No. But yeah, that is the plan. So, hope you're ready. Hope you're enjoying your day. Sit back, relax, and let's go off-roading. So unfortunately, it is just becoming nighttime. But I did manage to get the, the contest done. And indeed, I did have five attempts. Which is certainly surprising. We are also taking the Land Rover with us, by the way, if you did not know. Because that is, I mean, we have literally nothing else to do with a scout vehicle on this map. Now that we did the final contest that required a scout. So there is no point in having it on this side of the river. We might as well get ready to take it over to Smithfield Dam again. We did slightly go the wrong way, but it, sh it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, 
And of course, in the previous episode, we did manage to pretty much fully upgrade the Fleet Star. We have the best available tyres, the best available engine. All that is going to hurt. But we are going to keep going and almost lose the cargo. Keep the foot in, that's what they say. Okay, can we push through this? Yeah, kind of working. Kind of working, happy with that. So yeah, as I was saying about the previous contest, the scout contest, meteorology data, I think it's called. We did smash it on the first attempt. I think this Land Rover is maybe a little bit too overpowered for a contest of that magnitude. Though we did smash it completely by, I mean, in the end, after all of my attempts, we smashed it by four and a half seconds. Or four and a half minutes, I think, it maybe seconds? I think it's minutes. So it's nice to get that one out of the way. It'll give me confidence. Moving on to the other two contests that we have today. Trying to avoid the rocks up here. Don't want to be losing momentum. We did also rescue the fuel trailer that is that was stuck in the swamp. Of course, we did have the Pacific P16, so we rescued the dr the drowned heavy truck, and of course, we also rescued the fuel container, and we parked the fuel container up there in the garage, as you can see right there. I also realised in the last episode why, or after the last episode, why those big yellow arrows weren't there. It's actually because I turned them off for something that I was doing in terms of testing so yeah we managed to get those back on so that it's easier to see exactly where all of our stuff is all right let's drop off the trailer here we shall also drop off the land rover oh I need to look where i'm going Yeah, let's go drop off the Land Rover over in the garage. We'll keep it around just in case we need to repair anything. So, firstly we need to unpack it. Unpack it. And, yeah, I think we're good. Put the legs down and... Oh, one thing that I did see. Apparently you can save fuel if you put it into neutral which is 3.8 litres and if you put it in auto still 3.8 I don't think it works that way if I'm honest I'm not really sure what I'm doing right now there we go pressing all kinds of wrong buttons we did accidentally turn the engine on we saw the crane attach the winch and turn the engine off. There we go. Alright, let's head on over to the farm. Now, I did check what both of these contests require. And they don't seem that difficult. If I'm honest. I mean, the second one might be because there is quite a lot of travel time but you do get quite a lot of time to do it this one seems incredibly easy so we're just going to get started with this one unfortunately we are doing it in the dark as the first run but like I said the actual contest in of itself seems fairly easy Guess we just have to wait and see. Right. We are here. Let's check real quick. 
so you can see so food delivery is the one we're on so we have to deliver to the drilling sites two consumables that we get from the farm so as you can see very very easy six minutes just got to drive up here past the gas station down that road across the bridge into the drilling site there is no real bad areas we are going to load up real quick we need two lots of consumables start the engine brain mode get these loaded up real quick It's funny when I am um, when I am doing stuff like off camera, it's it just goes so much better because I don't have to think about talking and commentating and all that. So when I do actually do use the crane off camera, just on my spare time, just playing around with stuff, it just goes so much easier. Get this spun around. Come on, work with me, Crane. There we go. There we go. Right. We saw the crane pack the cargo. Get back over to this. To the start of the contest. So I will have a timer up on the screen. Just like I did in the previous contest. Just so you can play along at home. But I would like to know actually down in the comments what sort of times you are getting on these contests so that I can, you know, have something to compare it to. But we are ready to go. I have two consumables, we know where we're going. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Go. Release the handbrake. Oh, we do have a... Okay, so I didn't check that. I didn't actually check any of the rules. We have the usual rules, which is, you know, no changing truck, no recovery, all that sort of stuff. In the previous contest, we had a special... A special objective of cockpit view which we had to stay in cockpit view for the entire journey which was a bit of a struggle on that bouncy land rover but this one it looks like we have a damage meter so we're not allowed to take a certain amount of damage i didn't actually check how much that was So we just have to drive carefully, make sure we don't take any damage anyway, and we should be fine. So of course the route is going to be up past the... Oh, we didn't refuel either. How much fuel we got? Oh, oh that is going to be tight. Yeah, I'm thinking we need to refuel right here. No. We want to refuel. Fleet star, go. Okay, we're going to have lost a little bit of time there. So we'll have to bear that in mind. So we'll go through this little bit of bad terrain and then we'll take the right hand turn or left hand turn down this hill. Actually we might as well just cut the corner. Get these little trees out of the way. Take it back in auto, see if we can get some more speed going. Hi, 
my range in because I always tend to use the snowrunner or off-road gearbox so I've got a bit more control with the with the lower gears but I do tend to find that the high range or the high gear on these lower range gearboxes they tend to be a little bit slow so you might as well stick in auto for that extra that extra speed High range, of course, is good so that you don't have to change gear. You tend to be going up hills and all that. Okay, so I have no idea how long this has taken so far. I'm sure you will be screaming at the screen. Saying that I'm either driving too slow or too fast. Come on. We've only got to get across the bridge and then we're good to go. Taking no damage though, which is a good thing. Try and avoid that muddy mess in there. Around the outside. Did we stick it in high? We did. Across the bridge. And into the drilling site. Which we might be visiting... Actually, we will be visiting later in the day because we will need to uh, we will need to deliver quite a lot to the drilling site. We need two metal beams, an oil rig drill, which we get in Smithville, and of course that massive trailer we have sitting at the factory at the top of this map. Come on, does that feel about six minutes? I mean, it feels about there. Right, get it delivered. Four minutes, 14. Okay. So, we have completely smashed that once again. I wonder what the fastest time you can get on this contest is. I mean, the fleet stat isn't the biggest and best truck in the world. And if we get in four minutes, you could probably... If you had one of the big Russian trucks or something, or even the mods, you'd probably get that down to about two minutes. But yeah, anyway, I am going to do this another two times, I'm assuming. If this one hasn't glitched out and we get five attempts. I don't know. But we're going to go back and attempt this until we cannot attempt it anymore so that we can improve our level and money so when we did the when we did the other contest uh, the meteorology in the Land Rover I did roll it once so we failed one attempt but we did get five attempts so as you can see our money is shot straight up we are now with 34 and a half thousand we also gained a level. We are now level 11. We've done 71% of Michigan. 8% of the game in total. So we are beginning to smash through the percentage. Of course, the scouting always takes the biggest portion of the episode. Or of, you know, of the region. But yeah, I'm going to attempt this as many times as I can. And I will see you in a little bit. So coming up to the end of attempt number five. Yeah, we were given five attempts once again. So I'm not really sure what's going on with that. I've seen a lot of stuff online about it only being three attempts however when i did check the rules of hard modes as you come into a new game it does actually say it's limited the number of attempts but we've smashed it every time anyway so that's going to give us a good chunk of experience and money even with this trader and the land rover behind us we should still be under that six minute mark 
We're gonna uh, we're gonna see as we get in and unload. Nope, we want to cargo management. Boom. And that is again four minutes and forty-three. So our money has gone up to forty-nine and a half thousand. And we have no more attempts left on that particular contest. But we do have our trailer of service spare parts and the Land Rover. So we're going to take these over to the lumber mill. So that we can start our second contest. And of course it has just become night. So the whole time I was doing the contest, it had become day. Soon as I start recording again, we get into night. So that is just perfect for a YouTube series. Hopefully you can see the screen well enough. Do let me know if it is too dark and I will try and edit a bit lighter. We'll try and edit it a bit lighter. I have already put the brightness up in these settings just anticipating that it would be a little bit too dark for YouTube but we'll see how it goes if I don't get any comments then I will leave it alone because it must be fine so the only problem with this route is that we're not going to have fuel on the way we did use quite a lot of fuel from the fuel carrier that was parked at the gas station. About 130 litres of fuel remaining. We do have 100 litres in the... Actually, 180 in total in the um, Land Rover. So we can use that if we need to. In fact, I think we'll definitely need to. It depends how many attempts we get at this one. Now, where do we put the trailer? I think we'll put the trailer right here. Detach the trailer and... Let's go and have a look at this contest. So this one is a little bit bigger. We have four cargo slots to deliver. So, our suspension is also knackered. Yes, it's fine for now. Right. Next contract. Final contract. Contest of... Of Black River. Deliver to the drilling sites, wooden planks two, and then we need to deliver to the church, wooden planks one, and deliver to the old house, wooden planks one. We have eight minutes to do so. We've got two wooden planks over here, and then one there and one there. But yeah, like I said, we don't have any fuel along the way. Might have been a better idea to take some fuel with us instead of the Land Rover. But yeah, we're going to reload the first lot of wooden planks. And then we'll auto load the second lot. I think that is the best way to do it. So yeah, as I was saying before. When I'm not commentating or recording, the loading or just generally everything is so much smoother. As soon as I hit record, it starts messing up for me. That should be fine. Take one more.
Guess we're gonna need to spin it around a little bit. If I go the other way. Guess that's gonna have to do. We didn't put the back one on far enough. Yeah. We'll do. All right, so we're gonna do the drilling site first because the journey back is not as long. So we'll do the drilling site. We know where we're going for that one. And then for the next part of the journey, we're going up here into here somewhere. There's the church. And then we just carry on straight up the hill to good old Bill's house. I think it was Bill's house. Yeah, that is the route. All right, let's have a quick look. So again, we have five attempts for this one. Maybe the five attempts is just a Michigan thing. We've got eight minutes to get 3,300 and 360 experience. No special stipulations for this one. We just cannot recover, change truck or go use the garage. So, like I said, once again, I will have a timer up on the screen for you so you can play along. Should be there all ready to go and three two one go so yeah this is a little bit of a a longer one but it should be relatively easy especially if we are going to be auto loading on the second part of the journey Because we already know we can do deliveries into the drilling site fairly comfortably. There's no problem coming over here. A little bit of dangerous water levels. We do have a snorkel on this truck, don't we? Maybe we don't. Can't see a snorkel. We're going to have to get one of those as soon as possible. And I'm sorry it's dark once again. Not really much I can do with that. I can't change the daytime cycle, of course, in hard mode. So you're just going to have to put up with it as best as possible. Right, here we go wooden planks delivered get it turned around as quick as possible try not to lose as much time back to the lumber mill yeah like i said we will be auto loading the next two wooden planks we're doing that just because I don't know how close it's going to be in terms of time. We're going to save a little bit of time and auto loads. It's only going to be 300. We're still going to get 3,000 profit. So I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. We do have to keep an eye on our fuel though. Our fuel is going to be an issue. I think I'm going to need to take the fuel carrier over here. But again, I can do that off camera. As I'm doing the next few attempts. Assuming, of course, we get gold for this one. If we don't get gold, then I will be doing the next few attempts on camera. Until we get gold.
Right, sneak our nose in and wooden planks. Oh no, wooden planks on the truck. Lost a little bit of time there. Not too much, but we do have a wooden plank there ready to go for the next time we attempt. Who remembers recovering the GMC from that location? That seems like such a long time ago. But so far so good, we don't seem to have lost too much time. So if we do not get gold, I can't really see how we could get gold. But like I say, we haven't lost too much time. Into the church we go. Get that delivered, carry our momentum. Back onto the road. And we just need to go... I think that's Bill's house. Does it say? No, it just says old house. Oh, look, you can see the time up there. I did, <laughs> I did actually not know that. So that's my bad. But at least I know we've got plenty of time, so... I only used about half of it so far. Along here, up to where we got the upgrades. And deliver the final wooden plank to the old house. And load. Five minutes or five and a half minutes. Pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Think we could even get away with not with not auto loading. That way we're gonna save three hundred dollars each time. Don't want to go down there. That is a nasty piece of road. So yeah, I'm going to attempt this four more times. See if I can get the time down a little bit. We'll also move the fuel carrier from the gas station over to probably the sawmill. Or probably town, actually. Town might be a better location. But yeah, I will catch you at the end of attempt number five. So coming up to the final delivery on the final attempt, attempt number five. Again, absolutely no problems whatsoever. So assuming this is all good, which it should be under eight minutes. It is, so we did get the maximum possible money and experience for this particular con contest. I did also move the fuel trailer from the garage, pack that up at the town, instead of the one that we have sitting at the gas station, because the one at the gas station has to be delivered to the gas station. So I want to move that as little as possible. I also didn't auto load on any of the previous attempts or any of the four that you didn't see so we saved 300 per trip on that one i also towed up the trailer with consumables and the land rover during that final attempt so we have those parked up at the town area which is good to see. So we need to go back down to the lumber mill for one final time. Ooh. 
Don't want to hit the lamppost. So there is the trailer and the Land Rover. We just dumped them there as we were heading off into the church. But yeah, I have absolutely no idea how long this episode is already. Because, of course, I have about two hours, roughly, of contest that I need to edit out. Because there is no point in you watching five attempts of the same contest. So yeah, I have absolutely no idea. So this, this video might be a little bit shorter. It also might be a little bit longer. Depending on how much I actually want to get done. Just curious, can we actually attempt this anymore? Never, never actually tried it. Attempt left, none. Yeah, our best time was a 5.36. I think that was the first time because I auto loaded the second the second lot of wooden planks. Yeah, now we need to get two more wooden planks. Which we are going to deliver if we um, start tracking that riverside repair to Boatman's house. Already got the service spare parts. Just need wooden planks and then we can get that delivered. Get it ticked off. That actually went a lot smoother than it usually does. Alright, one more wooden planks and then we will say goodbye to the to the lumber mill for the time being. Spent way too much time in here than I actually wanted to. Okay, that is absolutely fine. But yeah, I'm glad we got both of those tasks done in this episode. We'll try and get as much of... But we're going to get this task done anyway. This is only going to take like five minutes maybe. But we'll try and get as much of the contract, which is called Not a Drill. We'll try and get as much of that done as possible. And then we'll see where we're at in terms of time. That might be the end of the episode. I would really like to start an episode with the big rig that we have over in that corner of the map. We might leave that for the next episode. We'll see how much time we've got. I'm going to leave land over there, there's no point taking that. We will be coming back here at some point. On our way to Smithville Dam. So I'm not sure if we should actually just get the logging done and out of the way. Actually, let's just check where we're going. Okay, so just... We could go up that road. They was going through all of this must muddy muddy mess. Yeah, let's try let's try that first road. But yeah, I'm not sure if we should actually just get on with the logging now that we are already in Black River. Get at least the logging done that is required for Black River before we move on. Let me know down in the comments what you suggest. I mean, we already have the Pacific over here, which I'm going to use for logging anyway. But I haven't, I haven't really looked through the logging contracts, so I haven't actually made a plan about those. This is kind of hilly terrain. I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. I mean, the fleet starts making it look easy, but it's definitely not. Also can't see where the road is. That is a solid tree. That is not a solid tree, that one. 
Might as well cut the corner a little bit. Okay, there is the boatman's house. At the back of the house is the delivery location. So we are going to... Oh, no, no, no. Ah. Well. That was not fun. Guess we just cut the corner a little bit too much there. Did not realize the camber. Okay. Enough looking at the fallen fleet star. Let's see if we can actually do this in the Land Rover. Now, unfortunately, kind of tipped the wrong way. We might be better off detaching the trailer. Try and get that ass swung round if we can. There we go. Okay. Now let's try in the middle. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. And there we go. Good work, little Land Rover. You know, I think I was being a bit harsh on the Land Rover before. Actually been quite a good little truck for us. Right, let's see if we can actually recover all of this mess. Okay, that is the truck reloaded. Beautiful stuff. So what I'm actually going to do right now, I'm just going to put these on here and I'm gonna move the trailer a little bit more yeah that should be fine right there that way we can hook up to it and we should be able to load it from here there you go that should be fine like that I should have been driving more carefully because it is dark it's night time so visibility is a bit of a premium okay trailer is attached unpack and pack the cargo Okay, let's get this finally delivered. Oh, we can't go that way. Can we get it turned around a little bit? It's a shame we couldn't have just rolled it over. Like, the delivery location is literally right here. Okay, that is delivered. Wonderful. Our small but proud fleet will be sailing down the river in no time. Thanks a lot. Looks like we did also. Just upgrade to level 13. Brilliant. So Michigan is 73% and all is 8%. So we are certainly a smashing through it. But now what I think is the next task is to head on over to town. Might as well take the Land Rover back. So yeah, head on over to town. I think we're going to take our usual routes. I really feel like we've benefited from the previous routes. So we might as well take the route we know we can do. And then I think we'll start working on the Not A Drill contest or, conquest or contracts. I think that is the next major task to get done. We are running out of fuel again. Right, we're going to drop off the Land Rover around about here. That should be fine. Not going to need that where we're going.
So yeah, we'll head on into town. Go to the town storage, because we're going to need two metal beams. Not sure the best way we're going to load this. Let's start tracking it. 15% of fuel remaining. So, Dyson diesel are not a drill. We're going to need two metal beams delivering, delivering to the drilling site and then a oil rig drill, which I think we'll use the... I think we use the um, White Western because that is already in Smithfield Dam. Don't want to auto load. We want it on the loading platform. Start the freight. Hopefully, we can reach the trailer from here. Might be a bit of a struggle. Actually, caught on the wooden planks over there. Yeah, no, we're not going to be able to reach that. Okay, then new plan. We shall double load onto the truck. And we can just move it about once we get out of here. Not really a lot of room to maneuver in here, so... Store the crane, pack the cargo, and we shall have one more. Thank you. Doesn't really matter how we put this on. There you go. Should be good enough for now. Make sure we don't hit it on anything as we come out. Like that. Or are we going to be able to fit it through there? Not quite. Okay, that works. We do need to refuel like right now though. So let's refuel. That trailer is almost half empty. Get this one packed up onto the trailer we need to go higher there we go beautiful we saw the crane, unpack the cargo, and we hook up and we will repack and then deliver this to the drilling site. And that will be the first part of not a drill complete. Very noisy, aren't they, these metal beams? See if we can get some speed up down this hill. I 
I do love that the police are is not struggling with any of this though. You know, for a starter truck, it's really not that bad. Of course, it struggles in the very beginning with highway tires and no all-wheel drive, no diff lock. Oh no, I think it starts with all-wheel all drive. Or at least that is one of the first upgrades you get. But no diff lock and all that. So it does struggle in the very beginning. But once you've got the upgrades, get a good set of tyres on it. Actually not a bad truck. Oh, did not see that through some. I'd love to know who's camping out here in these trailers. Or maybe they're not camping anymore because of the great big flood that they supposedly had. So that is the drill construction site. Once we deliver this, it should. Yeah, there you go. Should start building it. And there you go, it has. Right. Part two of Not a Drill. Going to be the oil rig drill. We're going to leave the fleet start over here. We're going to jump in to Smithville Dam. And we are going to jump to the White Western Star. And I think this still has the trailer on it. The big trailer. Yes. So we are going to jump over to the warehouse, which is right around the corner. And we did check at this warehouse in one of the previous episodes. Uh, so we do know this is where we get the real, the oil rig drill. And it's either four or five slot can, can, uh, cargo. So we're going to find out real soon here. Hope this crane can lift it. Of course, we have not brought a big crane as of yet. Kind of hoping to avoid it as much as possible. Okay, that might be a little bit too close. So it's a five slot cargo. Okay. I think we're gonna have to move. Yeah, that should be fine. Just about. Wasn't a lot of room to play with there. Right, Mr. Crane. Are you gonna be able to lift? I mean, you can lift it. Question is, can you turn it? Or can you lift it high enough? That is also a question that he's answering. I think it's slightly caught on the truck. There we go. wasn't actually too bad happy with that beautiful get that restored get it hooked back up and then we'll head on over to Black River It's a shame the low saddle is so far back on this truck. Really makes reaching with this little crane quite difficult. So 
weird looking drill though, isn't it? It's got those three little pong, uh, prongs down at the bottom. Interesting. I'm trying to see where I'm going as well as looking at the drill. Probably not the wisest idea. Oh, that's very fast. Slow it down. We all know what happens when you go too fast in SnowRunner. And back to Black River. Right, let's get going. So we are going to take the same route into the drilling site. The other route is through a massive swamp. And I don't really want to do that with such a big heavy cargo on. The rab is going to go through town. Through the lumber mill. And then meet up with the fleet star over there. And then in the next episode, we will be finishing this contract. Contract. I keep wanting to say contest because we've done so many of them today. But I, yeah, it will be the final stage of building the drill. And of course, we need to take the P16 with that massive trailer. So that is going to be quite an expedition. Looking forward to it though. That is going to be by far the biggest trailer we have towed yet. I'm sure there will be bigger ones in the future. We also have some bricks sitting on a trailer here, but we don't, don't really need them. Come on, get some speed up so we can put it in high. High gear is really good for acceleration. I found, but you need a minimum amount of speed before you can actually set it in high. Probably should be driving a bit more careful with this massive drill sitting on the back. Okay, not too long to go here. Just up the hill, across the river. Almost got the drill completed. Ow, that is another tree stump. Really difficult to see, especially when they're like right there, you just hide them behind bushes. How's our bumper doing? I mean, the actual truck's not looking too bad. The front bumper is quite badly damaged, but as long as the actual truck isn't too bad we can always just change the bumper if we want to okay let's get this delivered park up next to the fleet star no cargo to load oh we didn't even pack it impossible to pack cargo why why is it impossible to pack? Now you might want to look away here. Because we are going to try and push it a little bit more in the middle. Restore the crane, pack the cargo, there we go. Okay, so it was facing the wrong way. But we weren't to know that, was we? Right, let's get it delivered. That was very, very quick. Okay, let's park up next to the fleet stand. And that is going to be the end of the episode. So I really hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the content and subscribe so that you never miss a video. 
but that is going to do it for me a massive thank you take care and goodbye